Okay, guys, so here's the deal. Apparently, your geographics uh, class has been cancelled because the uh, teacher has no access to the internet whatsoever. So we've got 45 minutes for ourselves. And what can we do since we cannot leave, we cannot go anywhere because there's, you know, this quarantine thing? What are we gonna do? There are too many of them. What are we going to do? Hmm. Hmm. What can we do? Hmm. What kind of YouTube channel is this, huh? You're right, we can make a game. Okay, so here's the deal. We have 45 minutes to make a game. Since it's coronavirus uh, thing, maybe let's stick to the topic of virus and beating the virus and illness. Yeah, that's kind of an idea. But first of all, you know, safety first. So before we begin, let me and also I suggest you do the same. Let's don our safety suit. Toasty! So we have obviously start with the face mask because we don't want to breathe the virus. Also, we don't want to touch the virus, so we need gloves. Also, we need eye protection because we need to see virus clearly. Also, you know, in case you suddenly walk up in the middle of the street. You always need to wear high vis. It's always good to have high vis. And health protection is never surplus. Yeah, so right now we can start making games. Okay, but before we begin, let's brainstorm the idea. And uh, answering your question, it is not Violet, it's Magenta. Okay. We start with a blank canvas, obviously. I mean, in the game, saying that the virus is like a, you know, blob, round size, more or less. We want it to be moving randomly in one set direction that will be chosen at random at the very beginning of the game. So it will be a start function. And what we want to do is we want to make it look shiny, bright, and also emit some kind of, you know, matter around itself to, to look it more virusy and um, it's all about being fancy and uh, looking nice. So it will move at random and then the point of the game is to tap it. Tap, tap. It's uh, somehow it's an honor to an old game I used to play on Badaphone, which was called Tap Tap Defense, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so here we will have uh, a few of those viruses and we tap them and they are destroyed. Okay, but before we begin, let's have something to it. <laughs> so we need a timer in order to you know control the time somehow. So what we do is we take our timer and set it to 45 minutes and we press start. I believe I have failed at something. Okay, so having nothing else to spare, I think I will have to use this one, this kind of this you know, plate. In order to make it happen, we have to somehow you know, reset the clock. Okay, so we set it to an equal time and voila, time starts now. Oh yeah, sorry, shit. I stuck to very simple uh, circle. Uh, to the circle. Since I'm known in the neighborhood as the king of uh, Bloom tutorials, which is obviously a lie, but anyway, um, I've added this post-processing uh, Bloom in order to make the uh, bacteria glow, so it looks more like you know small organisms. And uh, I wanted to add some spice to it, so I have um, implemented uh, this small particle system in order to, to, to receive the effect shown. So the very next thing uh, I went uh, with was uh, um, the movement of the bacteria. So 
So I implemented a way to spawn those viruses in a random place uh, on the screen and also establish a random, randomly chosen uh, vector of movement. Then within the virus script, I implemented a small timer that would count from two to zero. And after which it would spawn yet another uh, virus. So it was uh, my idea to implement this multiplication of viruses and other germs. And at first I didn't establish a limit of uh, viruses the game could spawn. And it was a kind of mistake. <coughs> I removed this duplication feature and focus on the UI. So I have implemented three very basic objects that would display different type of uh, pointing system, being time, the number of enemies left and the score system. Pretty basic using uh, Text Mesh Pro. And that is how I use nearly half of the time. Okay, so it looks like we have 20 more or less minutes left. So let's do something with this. I quickly fixed the problem with um, too many spawned objects by just setting a limit of 50. However, I've un encountered yet another problem. I wanted those clones of game objects to spawn in the same place as the parent object, so it would give this sense of virus splitting, but with this I had to implement a method that would establish the position of the object not within the game object itself, but in this outside function that would spawn the object. In the meantime, I came across yet another, because those viruses uh, show the tendency to wander off outside the screen, which was not something I wanted them to do. So I had to implement those kind of boundaries of the play screen so that they would know if they were outside, the vector of velocity would change its direction to the opposite. It also gave this nice sense of them bouncing off the screen edge. Although there was no physics involved, so they would not, you know, lose uh, so they would not lose any momentum and thus lose no speed, but uh, the speed would remain constant, it still feels like they are roaming like um, living things rather than, you know, artificial beings. So the eventual uh, outcome of this little experiment of making game in 45 minutes would look like this and somehow it turned out to be a pretty fine experience when it comes to playing. Of course, provided that nothing disturbs you. And in just a moment, the time is up. You know, you get it? Because they all met in one in the same place. That's how it works, right? No? No? What? No? So having no more time to edit the game, I decided to spend it on playtesting and, you know, playing in general with the my new creation, which, as I mentioned, turned out to be a maybe not a purely neat gamer experience, but still a quite joyful way of spending free time, especially if you are stuck waiting for a train on a train station when there is nobody around you and you have no internet. But still, you know, it feels pretty nice to, to tap those viruses and destroy them. Okay guys, so since the time is up, that's uh, about this, uh, how we make a game in 45 minutes, one hour more or less. There's still a lot of to do about it, uh, to improve it, to add some functionality, I, I leave it to you. I leave uh, some ideas uh, to you, maybe if you give me some idea, then we will do a kind of continuation of this series. But pff, what to say more? Uh, we are safe, I mean, we should be safe, I hope we are safe. And uh, that will be it for today's video, so thank you guys for watching and uh, especially thanks to you Orange Ninja for being my Patreon. You might find the link to my Patreon website in the bio, 
below so thank you guys for watching once again and see you in the next video